It's time to start asking the big questions. Popeyes, Chick-fil-A, who has the best chicken sandwich? We asked students to find out. Sandwich. I have had the Popeyes chicken sandwich, and I can say, without a doubt, it is the best chicken sandwich I've ever had in my life. Way better than Chick-fil-A. Okay. I tried the Popeyes chicken sandwich. Ten times better than the Chick-fil-A sandwich. Breading's better, bread's better, sauce, pickles, it's all around better. I like the Popeye's chicken sandwich over the Chick-fil-A sandwich because that shit was pretty good. Today we're going to be bringing in just a random student from high school. Come here. So we're going to do a taste test to see if he likes Popeyes or the chicken sandwich more. He does not know which one's which. So we're going to choose one. I'm going to pick this one. Okay. Now here it comes. Open your mouth. Okay. I'll hold this while you eat it. <laughs> good. Is that good? Is that good? Okay, okay, let me see it. Here. Here's some water. Cleanse the palate. Here, here's some water right in front of me. Take a drink. No. Nope. What would you rate that chicken sandwich? About, about eight. About eight. Okay, right here. <laughs> now we're going to grab the other one. Hello. This one. We're going to see how we taste it. <laughs> Hello. Get a good feel for it. Get a good feel. Now, which one which do one? you think random student was better? Number one or number two? Number two. This one's like. Number two! Chick fil A! Hey! Woo! That's good! Mmm! 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 Do you want to learn about clubs? We went out to interview people from Heritage High School and this is what we got. What's HOSA mainly about? Well, HOSA stands for the Health Occupation Students of America. And HOSA is a club where students get to practice different medical skills that they're interested in. And we actually go to a state competition and get to compete against other people in the state. Where can they contact you to join? Well, my email is jacob.morris at rpsar.net, so they can always shoot me an email, or they can come by room D123, and feel free to come and talk to me and ask me questions. It costs $15 to join, but anybody is welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, she's the vice president of the club. Uh, what are the competitions like mainly about, and like what kind are they? Well, last year we didn't get to compete because we got affected by some bad weather, but typically there are different areas you can focus on or try to compete. Um, there's stuff like sports medicine, psychology, um, veterinary medicine, CNA, and you there's two parts to it. You do the first part, which is a written part, and then the second part, which is kind of like proving your skills. Thank you. I'm here with Cherish, and she's the vice president of the Drama Club. Uh, why should people join drama? Um, people should join drama club because it gives them a chance to really come out of their shell and meet new people that are like them. Uh, you guys have any projects other than just like drama? Um, well, we do a lot of improv and it just really tests your abilities to think fast on your feet. So um, also we, it's like a lot of like team building and relationship building. Why did you join drama? Um, I joined drama because I thought it would, like I said, give me a chance to meet people that were like me and um, just really like open up. How can someone join drama? To join drama club, um, everyone is welcome and you just go talk to Ms. Permanent in B123. Thank you. All right, we're here with Francisco. Um, if you could join one club, which one would you join? I would join chess. Why? Because I. Chess. All right, I'm here with Johnny Lemeth. 
Um, if you could join one club, which one would you join? I would join that one. Why? Because I like marketing. We're here with Mauricio of Ganesis. If you could join one club, which one would you join? Uh, none right now, but if there was a Fortnite one, I would join it. Heritage War Eagle golf team will be competing in a tournament at Lost Springs on Monday, September 16th. How has the season been going? Uh, it's been going good. We've had a couple of victories. We've beat Springdale, we've beat Harbor, we've beat uh, Van Buren and Siloam Springs. Uh, we've come pretty close to uh, Bentonville West, but otherwise we're doing pretty good. We're about fifth in the uh, NWA uh, West. Who are your starting players? For the boys, we have Colby Scroggins as a senior. Uh, Declan Buttry is a junior. He's played a couple. He's been All of these kids have played several years. Um, uh, Hunter Brunel and Joel Leonard are our three and four players, respectfully. And then our fifth player, we've got kind of a combination of uh, baseball boys uh, that have been kind of fitting in with that fifth spot. So it's open. We've had two or three that have played that spot. So that's our lineup. What about the girls' team? And for the girls, we have Kennedy Walters, who, in my opinion, is probably – the top five girl player in the state. Uh, she's just a very top-notch player. She usually shoots three or four, two or three over par each, each tournament. So uh, we'll find out in a, in a couple of weeks when our girls' state tournament is, but she's clearly head and shoulders one of the top players in the state. How do you think the rest of the season might go? Well, we have uh, a couple of tough matches ahead of us. On Monday of next week, we play in a multi-team match with – with Rogers Heritage and, and Rogers High School hosting it, uh, all the teams in the NWA West will be uh, at that tournament. So it'll be a good challenge. Um, we play Fayetteville, which is top two or three team in the state. We play Bentonville, top two or three in the state. So we've got some pretty tough matches ahead of us, but uh, we're improving. So I think we'll be, we'll be competing in those matches too. So. With the 100 year anniversary of the NFL, it's now the end of the NFL's first week. We now have 15 teams who are 1-0. Unfortunately, the score of the Lions vs. Cardinals games was a tie. There were quite a few underdog wins in the first week. Some teams are looking very good after week one such as the Ravens, Patriots, Cowboys, Titans, 49ers, and Chiefs. Some teams who aren't looking so good are the Browns, however the Browns came back in week two. More about week two next week. Steelers, Bengals, Buccaneers, and Dolphins, but this will not dictate the rest of their season as some of these teams may bounce back and figure out their problems. Hello, my name is Nicholas Hardy, and guys, there's some stuff we need to talk about. One of the things that uh, we need to talk about is the how much time we're using to go to the restroom. Because we can use the restroom during breakfast time, in between classes, and all that. And each time we use the bathroom during, uh, during our class hours, we're losing time of learning and the time that the teacher is uh, talking if they start talking while you're at the bathroom and guys we should only use the restroom if we really really need to like an emergency break like you're about to uh, go on yourself and another thing is guys time management because guys some people are still getting to class too late Yes, some places it's hard to get to classes like from up in F hall, upstairs F hall to, I don't know, maybe the CC1 building. Yes, but some, some of the classes are 
literally right next to each other and people coming in late and guys we need to stop that we need we need to break that habit because each time you come in late less time you're able to work on stuff that you need to do and guys just come to pair like it's simple bring your papers bring your pencils bring books if you have something to read like something to do like if you're done with all your work and guys um, that's all i'm going to talk about today thank you for listening to me have a nice evening morning or afternoon or whatever time you're watching this thank you Yo no soy lucido, mucho menos presumido, pero si me do... What happens if you're involved in an accident in the school parking lot? Good morning, I'm Officer Ochoa, I'm the SRO here at Heritage. Talk to you a little bit about um, being involved in an accident in the parking lot here at the school. If that does happen, the first thing you need to do is you need to contact um, an administrator here or uh, myself. We'll go out there and we'll um, get all your information. We'll need your driver's license, your registration, and your insurance card, then we'll get the other party's um, information as well and all that paperwork. And then what we do is that we'll exchange information, so I'll give you all your information, and they're going to give you all um, all their information to you. So you contact your insurance company and, and um, file a claim that way. And that's going to be considered private property since they have it in the parking lot. A los envidosos verán como los detesto porque no...